Welcome to WD Toys. Wow, guys, it's great to see you again. We're going to have an awesome show today. I'm so glad you came back. Today we're going to have Jurassic World. This is a Stegoceratops. <laughs> That's pretty cool how they combined the two. Wow, let's take a closer look at him. He looks really cool. He has bashing action. Oh, he doesn't light up, though. But he is a cool toy. Let's check out the back. It says he has a bashing head. He's a hybrid dino. Stegoceratops, a ferocious fight for survival. Wow, let's open this up. Okay guys, before we open it, we gotta pay for it. Let's ask Barbie how much it cost. Nine. Nine dollars. Okay, let's check Barbie, out. Twelve dollars and sixty-nine cents. Will that be cash or card? It's gonna be debit. Come back soon. Wow, let's open this up and have some fun. Wow, guys, this Stegoceratops is really awesome. It's like, it's a hybrid of a Stegosaurus and a Triceratops. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Let's take a closer look at this guy. Wow. Okay, we're going to, I'm just going to start here with his tail here. His tail's got the spikes here. And, I mean, this is more, I believe, a Stegosaurus would have the spikes here. And the, uh, like the bony plate on top is the Stegosaurus part. And then you got, like, the Jurassic World logo here. I prefer to call it Jurassic World Tattoo. I mean, it, it does sort of look like a tattoo. And then you got the gruesome wound there. One of the dinosaurs attacks and slashes it open. You can see the ribs in the inside of his body there. And then legs, let's see. Back leg, you have a full range of motion. Eh, almost 360 degree. Front leg, you got a good range of motion. On the other side, about the same it looks like. Except this leg. Yeah, this leg's about the same. Okay, then continue on. They did a really good job coloring with the, uh, I really like this dark green and then how they did the dark green to like almost like tan tips on the spikes or I guess you would call these spikes or fins or I think spikes you would call it. And then the skin, it, it feels really cool. It's like a, almost like a plastic rubbery feeling. I mean, it is plastic, but it does have a little bit of a rubbery feel. And then for the front is the Triceratops. You got this big plate here that goes behind his horns here. Except this guy only has two horns. So I guess he wouldn't really be a Triceratops. It's partial Triceratops or else he would have three horns. Like the plate, I really like the coloring they did on the plate too. They did like an orange fading to like a green and then they did the tips orange which looks cool uh the horns they did orange which is a little bit i mean i don't know i think white would almost look better but it looks pretty cool they did a really good job coloring the eyes you can see it's yellow i mean it's yellow eyes with a black iris then i i like how they did like the uh the stripes on his nose too and then his mouth here or Beak, whatever you would call it, like an orange color. This stomach's like an orange color. If you come to this side, this is where they have all the screw holes. They have four screw holes. I mean, it'd be nicer if they filled it in or, you know, colored it or something, but. And then here you got like the, uh, the date and everything, and I guess this is like a serial number or something. Okay, let's take a closer look at this guy. And then these are the bashers and biters, so if you turn the tail sideways, he moves his head, which is pretty cool. 
I like that. It's almost like he's talking to you or something. And then if you push his tail down, he moves his head forward to attack with his horns. I mean, the, the, the wound does not light up. Some of these it does light up. I guess for the price you paid, it's... That's not a feature you get. Okay, well, I like this guy. He looks really cool. I mean, some of these, some of the Series 2 ones are really cool. This guy's just going through the jungle, minding his own business, just eating plants, and then all of a sudden... Uh-oh, did you see what was behind him? Uh-oh. He got too near somebody's nest. Oh, it's the Indominus Rex. He tries to bite him. And he hits him in the side here. Oh, boy, look at that wound he opened up. Wow. Indominus Rex is so angry, he swipes him. Oh, he clawed him open bad. I mean, look at that. You can see the bones in his body. This guy charges him and... Hits him with his horn, like, right between the neck. Oh, man. And he, he tries to bite him, but he bites that plate on top, and he can't do anything. Then he bites the side. Oh, he still can't do anything. And this guy just keeps hitting him and hitting him. Wow. Oh, he knocked him down. Wow. Guys, that was a battle. <laughs> Uh-oh, that was just the baby. Here comes mommy. Oh, no. She's got him. Oh, man. Wow. She just picked him up in one bite. Oh, he shouldn't have messed with her baby. Oh, oh, he's got his stomach. I think this guy's done. Because when you get to the stomach, the stomach is nice and soft. It's not all bones and plate like the rest of the Triceratops. And, oh, oh, he's done for. Wow. And she helps her baby up. And they run away. Did you see that? Poor Stegoceratop. He was just going through the jungle, minding his own business. But he walked too close to their eggs. Oh, he should have been looking. And then he attacked the smaller one, which was not a good idea, because that made Mommy very angry. Wow, Mommy attacked him. Like I attack my cookies. Yay, I like my cookies. I like any kind of cookies you give me. I attack them. I eat them. I chop them all. Well, guys, if you enjoyed this episode, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Down there, down below video, click like and let me know which Jurassic World dinosaur is your favorite. Also, which one do you want to see reviewed? If you wait till video ends, Awesome! And card a lot more fun videos with Jurassic World dinosaurs and Peppa Pig and princesses. Wow! Well, I hope to see you soon.